Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick update on Selenium Manager with Python also. In the last video, we have seen Selenium Manager with Java. After 4.6.0, they have released a new update that you don't need to write any executable path the way we were writing earlier. So if you see this particular code, the in Python also, we used to write webdriver.chrome and then we have to pass the chromedriver.exe file path. If you are using your uh, a Windows machine, you have to write .exe. If you are using Mac machine, you have to write without .exe, and then you have to give the path of your uh, of your Chrome driver, Geeko driver, or Microsoft Edge driver. Now we don't need to do this. So how to do that? First, let's quick see a change here on the official GitHub page. You can just simply go to Selenium HQ Selenium. We will not go to Java package. We will go to the Python package. So let's click on py and uh, go to selenium and then after that you go to webdriver under webdriver you will go to common package and under common you will see one file this is selenium manager that recently nine days ago only they have updated so let's click on this and this is what that they have given and uh, see this carefully same thing here that uh, unless required applicable or something then these are the different methods are available and wrapper for getting information from the selenium manager binaries this implementation is still in beta and it may change in future exactly same thing they implemented in uh, java also in java they have given selenium manager dot java now we have this uh, method like get binary and driver location method where you can pass the browser value and browser value it could be chrome firefox edge you can pass it it will give you where exactly the driver is available on your system so now you don't need to worry about the .exe and all such things. You don't need to download it. You can delete all the executable files from your system and uh, you just need to pass this one and that's it. But you have to make sure that Selenium 4.6.0 is available on your system. So how will you install Selenium 4.6.0? You simple write go to your project directory here. So let's see this is the project directory and uh, simple write pip install here. And I'm going to write I want Selenium equal to equal to 4.6.0. This will download Selenium 4.6.0. Here you can see it successfully installed 4.6.0. And let me clear the console. I really want to show the information about Selenium package. So it will give you complete information here. You can see that you are using Selenium version 4.6.0 and the home page is this. And then it's now location available under Python site packages because Python installed all the third party libraries under site packages. And here you can see that yes, uh, it's available now. Now what we do, I'm not going to give any path and I'm simply launching one application here and then capturing the title and printing it on the console. Let's see, is it really working or not? So let's run this launch browser file and then you will see, yes, it's getting and then launching the URL browser, everything, and it's printing the title on the page. Absolutely correct. Perfect. If you really want to see that uh, where exactly uh, my Chrome driver dot exe it is uh, getting downloaded. So you can just simply call this method, uh, which method is driver location method. So this driver location method is saying it's a static method. So first we need to import the Selenium manager. Okay. So how to import the Selenium manager? So see Selenium manager is actually coming from uh, this package. We can import that web driver common Selenium manager. So what we will do, I simple, uh, simple, let's import that. So here we can use this import here. You can see Selenium web driver, common Selenium manager, import Selenium manager. And now I'm going to use Selenium manager, for example, here, so dot, and then it's saying that which driver location. So I'm looking for the driver location for what looking for the driver location for, let's see the specific executable. Let's see where exactly chrome driver is available so here you need to pass chrome in java you have to pass chrome driver remember this thing because this is what they have given if browser not in chrome firefox edge then only you have to raise this particular exception if it is available then it will return the whatever the file path okay so let's see this driver location will return the path and then i'm going to store inside the c path over here and then i'll try to print with the print and then let's print it so I really want to know that where exactly my Chrome path, Chrome driver path is available. So similarly, I'll do one thing. I'll just use this thing same for uh, Firefox also. 
so this is the firefox edge browser in mac machine it uh, does not support so i'm not going to use this one so let's see this is my f path and i'm just going to print f path over here perfect so this is just to know where exactly selenium is downloading the geeko driver and the chrome driver and then i'm going to run this so let's see all the chrome will be launched but here you can see on the console see that under my cache selenium geeko driver is available and same thing in my user directory cache selenium chrome driver is available tomorrow if your browser is upgraded to 108 or 109 and then it will download 108 binary file for chrome driver under this particular folder only okay under your user directory inside the cache selenium directory perfect so this is absolutely working fine for the python also now one thing if you really want to use .exe file path you can still use that we don't have any issue with that with 4.6.0 so let's see for example again i really want to use my path over here if you really want to use absolutely fine for example let's see i'll go to my downloads folder and if you don't want to if you really want to use your own .exe file that you have downloaded you can still use this see i'm using chrome driver you can write chrome driver.exe or whatever the path then if you are using the first preference will be given to chrome driver.exe path that you have given then in that case it will not download or pick any binary from this location if you are not using it then only it will take this particular location otherwise it will tell okay fine you have given the chrome driver.exe path we are going to use this chrome driver.exe from this location so it's backward compatible also if you don't want to use it you can ignore that so let's run this with this option also it's working or not let's try that again so here you can see that yeah this in this case also it's absolutely working fine and then your store the title is getting printed on the console right but i would advise you why to take the headache of these binaries we can just remove it and then directly write webdriver.chrome you don't need to use any web driver manager also in python in python also we have web driver manager if you uh, let's see if i show you some other file you can see that uh, maybe uh, for example let's see i don't have the code exact code right now but the web driver manager also you can uh, you can check and then you can use it see here also i'm using chrome driver.exe let's try with this see i was using chrome driver manager this will install the binary just like bonnie gracia in java but now you don't need to worry about it no need to give any path that's it if you really want to know where exactly path is available then only you can use this method otherwise you can ignore it so i'm just going to comment it out now how do you write your script in python start directly writing it from here that's it if you really want to pass any options like headless or something that you can pass it with the help of chrome options but no need to give any binary path here and it's absolutely working fine so that's all for this particular chapter i hope you like this particular change please start implementing it make sure that okay you are upgrading your selenium version to 46.0 then only this change will work otherwise it will not work and you might get some <clears throat> future updates also on the same library for other different languages also along with python so they have updated the same thing in other for other languages also okay if you really want to look uh, looking for uh, a java updates you can check my previous video i'll share the link in the description of with selenium java as well so that's all for this video guys i hope you liked it i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all